Hey guys, I'm Kristen. I'm a real squirrel. Normally on a Sunday, I would be posting to you my what sold. Everything that I sold, I'm gonna ship it, I'm gonna toss it, and I'm gonna get ready for the post office. But I have been gone. I mean, I'm gone kind of a lot. I travel a lot. I usually put my store on time away mode and keep it open for available sales. This time I knew that I was gonna be gone for extended period of time. It was gonna be more than the 15 days that eBay allows you to continue to make sales while you're gone. So I just turned them off. Not only did I turn it off, but I deleted all of my listings. Over 500 listings, 530 some listings. I deleted them all. They're still in my unsold, so I still have access to them. I don't have to recreate them and start over, but what better time than now to do an inventory? So hang on with me. We are going to go through each shelf, each tote, each bucket, and find out what is listed, what is in my drafts, what has fallen off, what is no longer still in my inventory, and decide do we want to relist it? Do we want to donate it? Do we want to have a yard sale? Do I send it to the wholesale girls? Maybe. Let's go through, and this is going to take me a minute. I have a bunch of totes and tubs and buckets full of inventory. Some of this stuff, I've had an inventory for three years or more. I'm a list it and leave it sort of girl. So not only that, but do you see this? This is a pile of stuff that I have collected at multiple Goodwill Bins locations. I mean, I mean, the road trip was great. I'm not gonna complain because it was fabulous. But now I do have a pile of stuff that I need to be working on. So there's about four different bins trips just sitting there waiting for me to process them. But I don't think it would be fair to list new things until after I inventory and process all the stuff that I already have. So, I'm gonna go step by step. We're gonna look at one item at a time and you can watch me. This is how I'm gonna do it. So for years, I literally labeled them by what was in it. So this is kids, cycling, bras, and swimwear. That seems like a lot of random <laughs> that's in here. But let's go through, let's pull open the unsold items and see which one of these things are still in there and then get them listed based on their category. You guys, I <laughs> turned my eBay off. I didn't turn off my Poshmark and I had a Poshmark sale. Oh, that's great. I have once a week a Poshmark sale. I didn't have any sales last week except this one. So yay, this one's going out. <laughs> Here's what I'm learning even so far. I've only gone through like five or six items and a couple of them, I, the, like the key words just didn't even come up. I put in, these are a pair of vintage 1980s, 90s, Oshkosh little kids overalls. And I put in my search for my unsold items, bibs. Didn't even come up. Didn't even come up. Not only is this a good idea for me to like double check my inventory, but also to make sure that I'm getting all my keywords in there. I pride myself on my keywords and I'm dropping the ball. These, these are the liners that come in your Lululemon um, sports bras. So these are Lululemon. I had liners, but I didn't have bra liner in there in the title. Why? <sighs> no wonder they didn't sell. Updating all those things. So it's a good thing that I'm doing this. I'm improving things and I'm rearranging photos and hopefully making these listings better. Maybe I should do this more often. I'll be honest, this is taking a whole lot longer than I thought it would. It's taking so long. Um, I'm still on my first bucket. I'm trying to do other things while I'm doing this and I'm also listening to some of my favorite YouTubers, but it's taking a long time. I mean, it's taking... <laughs> What did I get myself into? <laughs> okay, you guys, I, um, I'm still working on the inventory. So I took a little bit of a break. I had to work on some video, um, had to do family stuff. And I am down here in my pajamas uh, in my workspace and I'm trying to get some of my listings. So right now I'm working on my shoes. So I'm just gonna go through all the shoes that are right there 
get them into the um, unsolds or out of the unsolds and then relist um, as a sell similar so that it comes up as a new listing. So that way I can categorize everything, put everything in the right spot, and then also evaluate whether or not I still want it to be in there. So I'm gonna purge a few things. Part of me is like, I've already done the work. I'm just gonna lower the price. If I've had it in there for more than a year, <laughs> It's really time to reduce the price, promote the listing, get it out of here. So that's what I'm working on right now, but it feels like there's a lot. So I'm also watching some of my favorite YouTubers right now. This is uh, Consignment Chats, which is a podcast from some ladies that I met at Reseller Remix. They are just wonderful people. So I'm catching up on things with them, but I'm also uh, 595 unsold. So I'm trying to get those updated. It's taking a minute. <laughs> We're going to have a ton of sales after this, right? Right? Okay. Put the work in. Get results out. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. So here I am a week into relisting some of my stuff. Now I haven't been relisting every single day, um, all day long. I could, <laughs> But I haven't been, but I'm listing every day. So while I'm listing every day, going through each bucket, doing a purge, doing an inventory, updating my photos, changing my keywords, doing all those things on my eBay, I'm a week into this and I haven't sold a single thing on eBay this week. So, so far, I'm not sure how I feel <laughs> about deleting all of your stuff and starting over. Right now, I'm not sure. Not sure how I feel about that. I'll let you know as I get further into it, but right now this is what's happened. Being real, this is my experiment, this is what's happened. I don't know if that was a good idea. I don't know if that was a good plan. I don't know how this is gonna affect my business. But I'm gonna keep going. I've got to keep all of it, getting it all listed. Listen, there's ups and downs. I've been doing it for 25 years. Some days are better than others. I'm doing this in the middle of Q4. Pfft, dumb idea. And, <laughs> you know, it's been a learning process. Yeah, everything you do is a little bit of an experiment. Let's just see what happens. So I'm gonna keep at it. I'm gonna get everything um, relisted. And then I'm gonna work on this death pile, this pile of money that is sitting here from all of these bins that I've been to, all these thrift stores that I've gone to in my travels for the last, that, that started at the end of September. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> so much work to do. I can't talk. I got to go. Okay. So since I've been redoing my inventory and that I've been trying to get things listed, not a lot of sales happening. I've told you that. So the good news is that my Poshmark was not on vacation mode. I've had two sales on Poshmark. Thank goodness there's something happening over there. We've got something that needs to go out today. So let's get it done. I've got my backpack on. I'm ready to go to the post office. I just need to get this thing ready so I can get it out the door. Let's get it done. We're going to call this a free item because this was actually Mr. Squirrels. I bought it in Salida, Colorado at the store. He wore it. He's outgrown it. And now we're sending it on to a new guy. And while I'm thinking of it, I want to send a big thank you to Paula Burris. She sent me a coffee, not once, but twice. So way big thanks, Paula. I'm on my way to go get a Dutch Brothers right now. Thank you. Okay, here we are, well into the evening. So I've gotten the coats done. So I, my totes, my buckets, my inventory right there isn't like, like Ginger Marvin's is beautiful. It's perfect. It's in box A5, not mine. Mine has been for the last at least 15 years. <laughs> men's shirts, men's pants. <laughs> so I went through two totes of coats. Here's what I found. So, okay, so all of those have been relisted. So I didn't just like relist them. I put them in as a sell similar. All the photos and stuff are there. So instead of going into your unsolds and then relisting, I went in and sold similar and just scrolled all the way down, double checked everything. Like for instance, this one is a Ralph Lauren trench coat. I had it in as a Ralph Lauren coach jacket. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. 
So I did double check everything, make sure everything was right. And that's probably why it hasn't sold because it's not a trench coach. It's a trench coat, duh. All of those are listed. All of these are listed. And then I have one, two, three jackets that weren't listed at all, but were in my inventory. They weren't in my solds. They weren't in my unsolds. They, I mean, they were just not listed coats. So I have three that I either need to take to consignment, donate, or try to relist. Here we are a week and a half. Is it a week and a half? A week and a half into this relisting some of the uh, items that I've deleted. I did, I'm not relisting them. I'm selling similar and creating a new listing. So it's got a whole new listing number and everything. I'm creating a new listing off of it so that all of it looks new. Um, it's not gonna be three years old, some of them. So now that we're a week and a half into this, I'm finally gonna get some sales. Phew. We're gonna get these out this morning, but thank goodness I have three, <laughs> better than zero, sales going out today. This has been an experiment. I've told you that a couple of times now. Would I do it again? Let's wait till we get all the rest of the things uploaded. Because right now I'm not completely there yet. I still have <laughs> a lot to get uploaded. So we're going to work real hard, fast and furious on that all day today. So <laughs> let's get these other things out the door, okay? Let's start off with these Patagonia pants that I found at the Goodwill outlet. I paid about $1.50 for them and I took a best offer of 14 on these things. Lightweight, easy to ship, and a good flip. I've missed that. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing that is going out is a pair of Thanksgiving wall decor, like a cardboard that's got some flocking on it. It's vintage, it's from Hallmark. And I got a full price sale on these things of $14.99. <laughs> And the last thing going out today is a pair of Jeffrey Campbell crazy cool ostrich leather little booty things that I got at the bins, and I'm selling them for 35 bucks. <laughs> okay, let's get back to doing the inventory and relisting all of our items. Selling similar, all of our items. Let's see what's gonna happen. It's really making me nervous because that's the only three sales I've had in the last month. Well, except for the Poshmark sales. Good morning. Two going out today, so things are starting to pick back up. Let's get those done. This is another item that I would consider to be free. This was Mr. Squirrels, and I'm going to sell it as a best offer of 20. But this one is super cool. That this is a full price sale, $49.99 for a sweater that I found at the bins in Jacksonville, Illinois. Okay. So, I know that I could probably go through and bulk edit all of these things. I recognize that. I also know that I'm probably doing it the hard way, but I physically wanted to touch every single item and make sure that it was here. So not only am I experimenting to see whether or not it's better to delete all your listings and start over, or put things on vacation mode, or relist and sell similar, or just relist, or I'm trying lots of different things. I'm experimenting. I'm trying to decide what is best for my business. How are things gonna turn out? What's gonna, what's gonna happen? It's a mystery. But what I did wanna make sure is that I had each item, that I could physically put my hands on each item and know that my inventory was accurate. So I probably could go through and bulk list all the sweaters, but then I also wanted to know what I had left. So as I am touching each item, relisting a cell similar, and then going back into my unsold items and I'm deleting that item. So that whenever I get done, I should have all the items that I haven't been able to put my hands on. Then I can go back and double check, look through everything and either relist it or find out what happened to that item. Is it gone? <laughs> Did it disappear? Did I sell it on another platform? Those are things that I needed to be double checking. Some housekeeping that I hadn't been doing and is not a good idea. So this is gonna keep me accountable for all of my items. Touching each single item is gonna make sure that I know exactly where everything is. And what I am convinced of is that the relisting is generating energy in the store because the things that I am sending out are things that I just did list. Of course they're things that I just listed because there was nothing listed before. These are items that I have had stagnant in my shop 
for a while. Because I have bumped it up to the front, I like to think it sold because of that, because it looked like a new listing. Because I just sold a Sherpa coat that's been in there for, I know, two and a half or three years, way too long. So I did do some editing on it, popped it back up as a new listing, and it sold the next day. That's always helpful. So I'm gonna keep going. That's encouraging because for a minute when I wasn't selling anything, I was thinking, what have I done? What have I done? But now we know <laughs> that it just needed some time to get kicked back into gear. But it does give me hope and it does ma make me think that it wasn't all in vain, <laughs> but it still took a minute. And that made me stress. So cleaning house is good. Getting sales is good. Peace of mind that knowing all the items are here is probably best. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, let's look for a second. This is why I'm editing one at a time because this sweater, this is a smart wool sweater. It's a really nice, it's a nice sweater. It should have sold by now. It's got four watchers on it. Why won't, this is a good price on this. Why won't it sell? I'll tell you why. Because look at the dimensions. Do you see that? 121 inches. Do you know what that does to the shipping costs? That's ridiculous. No wonder it hasn't sold. This is why I'm going through them one at a time to evaluate each one. I'm fixing errors, fixing problems, and I'm sure that once we adjust this, it will sell. Hey, good morning. So I've got several things going out today. Hip hooray. So several eBay items, getting back into the groove, even better. Plus I have two Poshmark sales, two in one week. What? What is this? So I'm very excited to have that happening. Let's get these things done. I'm gonna be watching some of my favorite YouTubers. This right now is Reseller Information Network. They hang out with you while you get your shipping done. So how perfect, how appropriate. I'm gonna hang out with them while I get my shipping done today. And hopefully uh, we'll both be getting some stuff going out today. Let's get this done. How cool is this Poshmark sale? Oh my gosh, this thing is so lightweight. It cost me pennies at the bins and I sold it for $30 best offer. This is another super lightweight item that I got at the bins. It's a Heli Hansen. This is a Bolo. Be watching for that brand. I sold it for 60 bucks and I'm going to ship it in one of those great big poly mailers. If you need a link to that, it's in the description below. You can see I'm selling a lot of coats. So this is a Ralph Lauren jacket. I picked this up at the bins for $1.50 and I just sold it for $39.99. That's a full price sale. Speaking of the bins, I picked this thing up for $1.50 and I sold it on Poshmark for $35. It is this amazing new with tags, wool vest, ranch wear. We find a lot of things like this up in Colorado and usually it's a pretty quick flip. Next thing I'm sending out is something else that I found at the Goodwill outlet. This is $1.50 cost for me and I accepted a best offer of $16.80. This is an Eileen Fisher really great condition sweater. Here I am selling off Mr. Squirrel's outerwear again. This is a full price sale of $14.99 for a Columbia jacket that to me was free. That's even better than bins pricing. So this is a sweater that I found during a Bolo Buddies $40 bins challenge. It's a moth anthropology brand sweater. I picked it up for about $1.50 and sold it for 20 bucks. That's it for today. Hopefully we've got some more great stuff going out tomorrow, so. Okay, before we get going and get our shipping done, I have four things going out today uh, and then get to the post office and then go get my hair cut and, you know, do all those things that have to get done today as well as uh, one box left of getting everything relisted. <laughs> Finally, the last box, getting it relisted. Before we get to all that, I want to make sure that I send a big thank you to my Google sister, Cheryl Shiny Squirrel, <laughs> our Squirrel Squad, and make sure that I send her a big thank you and appreciate that she sent me a coffee through my link tree. Um, I'm going to stop by um, this cute little coffee shop that is on my way to the post office. It's a little local thing and I'm super excited. So I wanna support local and do that. So I'm gonna stop there on my way to the post office after we get these things um, ready to go. So thank you so much, Cheryl Shane Squirrel, part of my squirrel squad. Let's get our stuff done. And then I'll tell you what I think about deleting all of my listings and starting over. First thing I'm sending out is one of the coolest books I've ever picked up at the bins ever. So I paid 50 cents for this thing and I just sold it as a best offer of $47. This 1932 catalog is gonna be out media mail.
This vintage 1978 nativity is so sweet it needed saved from the bins. I'm gonna get $9.99 for it and I have pennies in it. I'm gonna add a fragile sticker on there just in case since it's a vintage plastic. I wanna make sure that I've got my bases covered and make sure that I am I'm showing the customer that I'm protecting it as much as possible. Post office is gonna do what they're gonna do, but I'm doing everything that I can do too. So ready to go. If you need fragile stickers, there's a link in the description below the Amazon account that I use. When you click there, I get a little kickback and I'm super grateful for it. Okay, commercial over, let's get back to the shipping. This is a Diane von Fustenberg, beautiful, new with tags purse that I just sold for $49 best offer. I picked it up at the bins and I paid about $1.50 for this. Oh, I can't wait to get my hair cut. Ah! And last but not least, not all Ray Dunn is created equal. So this is a salsa and guac set that I found at the bins. So I only paid 49 cents a pound for these pennies in them, but I sold them as a best offer of $10. Okay, that's it for the shipping. How do I feel about deleting everything? Here's what I think. Did it affect my sales? Absolutely. I don't think it's bad to go through and purge and decide what you're willing to continue to sit on and what things that you really feel like are worth holding out for. But for me, for my business, it took a hit and I'm sad about it, but I also feel very good about getting things cleaned up. I love to get things a little bit more tidy, which is hard to tell <laughs> some days whenever you look at this, uh, you know, mess that is our business. And it is a little bit messy sometimes, but it's definitely worth it for me. I feel good about getting everything cleaned up. And we have made some sales, some things that have been sitting for a minute. So I do feel good about that too. Do I think it's something that you should do? I think that's something that you need to evaluate for yourself in your business. Until then, I hope you are finding good things. I hope you are shipping good things. I hope that you are cleaning up some good things. So, and I hope that you're doing some great things. Until next time, I will see you later. I'll see you in the bins.